Are we waiting for God to move on our behalf? Or is God in reality waiting for us to get right with him so that he can move on our behalf? They have something pending, a group of psychiatrists with letter B, number four, uh, no, the letter U, before you act, recently held a symposium proposing a new definition of pedophilia in the Diagnostic and Standards Manual of Mental Health Disorders. They propose that we no longer call them pedophiles, but we call them minor attracted people. Pedophile is a stigma. It promotes fear. It hurts people's feelings to be called a pedophile. Now, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt their feelings to be a pedophile. It turns them on to be one. It just hurt them that we call them one. So they want to be called minor. People who are attracted to little ones. Now, vigilantism is getting ready to go up. Because people aren't going to sit still for that. But personally, I think to use the euphemism minor attracted people to describe pedophiles is no worse than using gay to describe homosexuals. And you call them gay all the time. Are we, and I'm going to preach, waiting on the Lord? Or is God waiting for us? Let me, let me preach a little bit. You don't. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall rise up. King James says, mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not Look at what happens when you wait on the Lord. Strength is exchanged. You get uh, reinvigorated. Good things happen when you wait on but the you Lord. Have to, you have to resist that urge to try as a human to step in and help God out. Because there are some things that are too big for us. Things that we can do, we do. But there are some things that are above our pay grade. And, and, and when you're waiting on the Lord, you, you're, you've acknowledged that this is a God problem. And, and I've, got to, I've got to wait rather than take matters into my own hand. That God is waiting for us rather than we waiting for him. For when you wait for him, he renews you. He revives you. He lifts you up. He gives you life when you wait for him. But when he's waiting on us, we go weaker. We add sin to sin. Things get worse instead of better when he's waiting for us. Is that a move of God? Or have you grown bored with the church? Bored with life? Nothing's working the way you thought. Praise the Lord. It could be that you're in a bad place. Yes, that there are some things that are present that God is waiting for you to get rid of so that the Lord can come in and give you double for your sins and speak comfortably for it to you and bless you real good. We rather trust in oppression. Put more confidence in folk who are trying to oppress us than to put confidence in the living God. 
I said, oh, God. Oh, God. Those who said the Bible is an outdated book hadn't read it. Hadn't read it. The Bible, the, oh, the Bible is dead on it. I do not believe that it is a case of our simply waiting on the Lord. I believe it is a case of God waiting. Have you forgotten God? <laughs> Seem like the excitement for God for some has waned. Don't act like you're even in place in church. You almost feel more comfortable now not being in church. Not being in place. What happened? What happened? What happened? Who is waiting for who? I'm just waiting for the Lord to fix it. Well, what is the it that he's waiting for you to fix? See, if we fix the little it, God will fix the big it. 